as an aerial performer, are you worried any bit that your body would wear down and you won't be able to perform anymore? Diba? Similar to athletes, they're often told that you know you can only perform up, up until 40. Then you can yes. call it a career. Diba? Yes. What do you have to say about this? You know, performers having a short span of careers. And why do you still do know it? Uh, why do you still do it knowing that you know it's only like a short-lived career according to them? Well, first of all, you know, parang I beg to disagree that it applies to all the performances. Of course, probably for athletes, it's very much applicable because um And yun eh, um, it's really something else. You can't compare it to performing. But for performing naman, it's not always like, you don't always have to be at your peak for like, like super duper. Like, kunwari, if you're an athlete, you have to be consistently super fast and you know, you have to be super consistently strong. For performing, it varies. You know, for aerial performing, I would also say it would vary because you can always change up your routine according to what suits you. Honestly, ako, parang I can say that I'm now in my 30s. Um, this is the peak of my aerial performances because this is where I know my body very well. I know my strengths. I know which ones I can hold, which ones I should avoid, which ones I should be working on. So I guess it also varies whenever you age. And for example, like right now, honestly, I'm treating my left shoulder. I recently went into, a, I, I got rotator cuff tendinitis. So I'm still in the process of healing my left shoulder. So like right now when I train, I try to avoid straining it. So I guess pag ganon, na parang if you know that you're weak in this part as you age, you can still perform, I guess. And I'm sure... If you're a performer, you won't let it stop you, right? So as long as there's an opportunity and you can work on it, I guess it's very adaptable. 